Hey everyone, are you ready to boost your career and land those high paying jobs in cybersecurity in 2024? In today's video, we're deep diving into cybersecurity certifications that can skyrocket your earning potential and make you stand out from the rest of the tech industry. Whether you're a seasoned pro or you're a newcomer into this industry, these certs will be a golden ticket. And make sure you stick around as I give you a specialized pathway into the cybersecurity industry. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this. So let's get started with your lucrative career path towards cybersecurity in 2024. Hey, my name's AJ and I've been in cybersecurity for the last eight years. And on this channel, we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners. So first up then, certifications to build the fundamentals. So you can see this is our nice roadmap that we've got here. And before you can go down any of the pathways, you need to build up those fundamentals. So this is if somebody has got no experience in IT, networking or cybersecurity, this is the best place to start. And I know everybody bangs on about the CompTIA certifications, but they are good certifications to help you build those fundamentals before you decide which pathway you want to go down. So first up then is A+. So this is gonna help you build those IT fundamentals if you've got no experience whatsoever in IT. So if we come over to here then, you'll be able to see the CompTIA A+, certification. This is going to teach you things such as hardware, operating systems, software troubleshooting. Uh, there's basics of networking in here as well, mobile devices, visualization, um, operational procedures. All of these things then are what you're going to need to help build those IT fundamentals to help give those building blocks before you move into networking. And to be able to help build the foundations in networking, which you need to understand networking because this is how actually computers talk to each other. So if you want to know how to learn how to defend a network, which is cybersecurity side, you need to understand how networks work in the first place. So that's why we recommend CompTIA Network Plus. And again, you're getting some great understanding and great learning from CompTIA Network Plus. So you're going to understand the networking concepts, networking implementations, network operations. You're going to start to get into some more security to get that security mindset with network security and troubleshooting as well. So there is a lot of in-depth information in here about networking. As a cybersecurity professional, you don't need to know all of this, but when you're starting out, it's good to have that fundamentals of networking to make sure that you're building uh, the understanding of how networks actually work. Then once you've got your IT fundamentals, you've got your networking fundamentals, you then can start building your cybersecurity fundamentals with something like CompTIA Security Plus. And this certification on its own these days is usually what a lot of companies are asking for as a minimum. So it's a really great place to start because it is well known in the industry and a lot of employers are looking for it. So again, CompTIA Security Plus, you're going to get a lot of great understanding here. General security concepts, you're going to understand threats, vulnerabilities and how to actually mitigate cybersecurity attacks security operations, you'll understand security program management. This is going to really help you build those fundamentals in cybersecurity if you've got no knowledge at all. So then keeping up with the theme of cybersecurity fundamentals, the Google Cybersecurity Certificate is actually really good for beginners. Uh, once you've built up your networking IT fundamentals and your security fundamentals. So if you're somebody that's already got understanding of IT and networking, then you could just jump straight to the security fundamentals, but it all depends where you are on your current journey. But the Google Cybersecurity Certificate is on Coursera. So you can come in here and you can get that and it'll give you a certificate at the end of it as well. So it's going to help you understand the foundations of cybersecurity. It's going to help you understand uh, network security, assets, threats and vulnerabilities, detection and response. Uh, it's even going to talk about uh, cybersecurity tasks and automating those tasks with Python as well. So there's a lot of knowledge here. And I've actually been through this course myself to test it out. Uh, and it's a great way and it's been created in a very good way for beginners. And if you are somebody that's unsure if you want to go for these CompTIA certifications and you want to find out if you will actually enjoy this information before you pay for anything, you can come into here, go to Professor Messer and go Security Plus, for example. And you can come in here and he's got all the videos that will teach you exactly how to do the A+, how to pass your A+, how to pass your Security Plus. All the videos are in here broken down each module and that'll help you first understand if this is what you're going to like before you go paying for anything but personally i think the training course 
plus the practical labs is the best way to pass these certifications, but I always recommend you use the free resources before you pay for anything. So it all depends on where you currently are in your journey. If you've already done a degree in IT, for example, you likely won't need to do CompTIA A+, because you've had that from there. Or if you already currently work in IT, for example, you or you work in a networking role, then you likely don't need to do Network Plus. It's all going to depend where you currently are on your journey. But if you're a complete beginner, I recommend starting from A+, doing Network Plus, and then Security Plus. But if you've already got some IT fundamentals, or if you're technically minded, um, you feel comfortable with networking, then you can probably just jump straight into the security and bit cyber security basics. But then once you've got those fundamentals down, what you want to be doing then, you want to be picking a pathway to go down. And the best way to pick a pathway to go down is to figure out what job in cybersecurity you want to do and then tailor your learning, look for the skills that are required for that job and start your learning there. And this is where the highest salaries come from in cybersecurity by picking a specialized career path that the industry is currently paying top salaries for. So let's say that cloud computing and cloud security is something that you want to focus on. Well, a great certification is the AWS Certified Security Speciality. So it's up to you which cloud platform or cloud provider you want to specialize in. AWS is one of the biggest. There's also Azure, but there's also Google's cloud computing platform as well. Whichever one you think you want to be then specializing into that platform. So if it is AWS, then AWS certifies security speciality is one way to go. And this is what's going to help you become that cybersecurity specialist in the cloud for AWS. So as you can see here, you can come in, look for pre preparing for the exam. Come and have a look at the exam guide when it says the exam is here to validate the candidate's ability to effectively demonstrate knowledge about securing AWS products and services. So you're going to become somebody who can go into a company, say that they're running AWS and say, I can secure this for you to make sure that you don't get breached or hacked through your AWS infrastructure, which is what's going to make you stand out if you want to go into cloud computing or cloud security. So next up then, maybe you're more interested in going to the job of an information security manager, then you can look into a certification like the CISM. That stands for Certified Information Security Manager. And this is more aimed towards governance and implementing a government's program to be able to manage risks internally to a company. And where you're going to be coming through being taught about information security governance, information security program, information security risk management, incident management. To be honest, this is really, really important things when it comes to cybersecurity. But that's totally up to you. It all depends on what you are interested in. But these kind of jobs, information security management jobs, are definitely sought after in the cybersecurity industry and they do pay really well. But it all depends on what you're interested in. As I prefer to stay in the kind of technical side as an analyst or more into instant response. So next up then, maybe you're more interested in kind of the red teaming and ethical hacking side and that's the job that you want to do. So after you've got your fundamentals, you can look into something called CEH or the Certified Ethical Hacker by the EC Council. So this is the certification here by the EC Council. It is well renowned. I haven't personally done it myself, so I don't know if it is any good but based on my research it does look like it is a good certification and as you can come in here you can look at the course so it's going to give you an introduction to ethical hacking footprinting scanning enumeration system hacking malware threats sniffing so it's going to go through everything that you need to kind of build those fundamentals of red teaming and pen testing um, to be able to actually start to learn uh, those fundamentals of becoming a pen tester and an ethical hacker but remember certifications alone uh, especially in red teaming won't be enough you do need to do project work as well with all of these certifications to build up those practical skills as well uh, but the idea of this video is just to let you understand which certifications can help you gain the knowledge that you need uh, to move towards your most desired job and it's also possible to build on top of these pathways as well so for example cism you could move on to the cissp or do that one instead as that's a well-renowned certification that a lot of people like in the information security space or in the red teaming space for example there's the oscp which is another well-renowned offensive red teaming certification but that's what i'm trying to get out here and please take away from this video is the most important thing you need your fundamentals before you go pick in a pathway to go down. But the one thing I will say, trying to jump from here to one of these specialized areas can sometimes be a little bit difficult. So this is a personalized pathway that I would take uh, to get from here 
to one of these specialized roles and this is what I would do. And it's also what I personally did to get into cybersecurity and how I've stayed here for the last eight years. So we've already discussed then that you're building your IT and networking fundamentals with CompTIA A+, or Network+, Plus, or maybe you've already got them, you've already done a degree, you're already working in IT, you're already working in networking. Then your cybersecurity fundamentals, what you're going to be building, like we mentioned with CompTIA Security Plus and the Security Plus Labs. Then what you want to be doing is learning the skills of a cybersecurity analyst. So there's no specific certifications that I can recommend for it, this. But the skills that I do recommend learning are things such as SIEM, instant response, cloud fundamentals, customer service, attack types, threat hunting, different types of analyst tools, and defense techniques on how to protect a network from those cyber attacks. Then... Once you've got that down, you want home projects then, which will work to get the practical skills needed to become a cybersecurity analyst. And if you watch the end of this video, I'll also give you tips on that as well. So each one of these projects needs to feed into the theory that you're learning here. Then once you set up your resume and you apply for jobs, you get that first job as a cybersecurity analyst. I've started as a cybersecurity analyst. I've helped friends start a cybersecurity analyst as well. It seems to be the most entry-level job. It's not an easy job and it's not an entry-level job, so don't let me confuse you there. But it is the most entry-level job and the easiest barrier of entry into the cybersecurity industry at this moment in time. And then once you get in through the door as a cybersecurity analyst, this is where we recommend specializing further and specializing into the pathways here. So you become a cybersecurity analyst, you do these, cybersecurity analyst, then you jump into maybe you want to do information security, you want to go into CISSP, information security manager, or maybe you, you do your fundamentals, you become a cybersecurity analyst, then you specialize into becoming a certified um, cloud security engineer, or maybe you want to go down the ethical hacking route and you want to go into a purple team, then you can become a cybersecurity analyst, specialize into doing your CEH, OSCP, any way that you want to become a, an offensive cybersecurity engineer, that's a way to do that as well. So this is why I recommend becoming a cybersecurity analyst because once you've got that experience, it's going to be a cybersecurity analyst actually gives you experience in each one of these domains. Then it'll allow you to specialize further and you've already got cybersecurity experience on your CV. So each one of these areas, if there are jobs, they're more likely to pick up your CV if they can see that you've already got experience in the industry. So this is the pathway I recommend to get in a first job in cybersecurity as an analyst. Then you can decide to specialize using the specific certifications to specialize further into those higher paying roles. So there you have it, Cyber Recruits. These are the top certifications that can help you land your first job in cybersecurity in 2024. But always remember, you need a pathway first. That's why I recommend you build your fundamentals. Then you go for a job as a cybersecurity analyst. Then you look to specialize in other roles, which are going to allow you to get those higher salaries. The RISE certification can help you stand out from a competitive environment when you're applying for jobs but it's not all about the certification itself. That's why it's important that you don't just do any random certification. You pick a pathway, you do the certifications related to the job that you want to get. And by specializing further, this is what is going to significantly increase your earning potential. Like I mentioned, it's not all about certifications. You don't just want that shiny badge. You want to be able to do the job as well. And to be able to do a cybersecurity job, the best thing you can do is home project work. And if you're looking for a video that's going to show you an example of a cybersecurity project that you can do make sure you go and watch this video next and i'll see you over there thank you cyber recruits